Hey guys, here's just a little uh, quick and dirty video here. I've been playing around with the hobo fiddle a bit. This is a fun little instrument. I built it in the garage um, from a kit. There's another video, maybe I'll link to it in the description. But um, I was just sitting here plunking around on it and I came up with that little riff that I just played. And uh, it sounds really complicated, but it's super easy. And I was like, oh my gosh, that's so easy. I have to show other people how to do it. So it's really, really easy. What we're gonna do here is I'm gonna show you how to play it. So we're gonna talk about the right hand first because the right hand is actually harder. So um, what, it's a finger style riff and a lot of people have trouble with finger style, but all you're gonna do, put your thumb on the low string, your first finger on the middle string, and your uh, middle finger on the high string. And the, and the pattern you're gonna do is low, high, middle, low, high, middle, low, high, middle. That's it. That whole thing is that. But the only thing that makes, what makes it sound so good is there's a little syncopation in there. You go. So you go, instead of going one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, you go one, two, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, That's it, okay? So you just do that, that's the whole song. The only thing it's that then, the only way you change it up is on the very last one, you don't play the middle string. So on the very last one, you'll have eight instead of nine, eight little. So one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. But on the last one, you just do one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. But you'll do that little syncopation, of course, so it's. And the last one, you just kinda on that last note, okay? That's it, that's the right hand. Then the left hand is so easy. Okay, on the left hand, what you do is you start with this finger with your ring finger on the fourth fret of the high string, okay? And then you're, that's your first chord. You play one time through that set of nine. Then middle finger on the second fret, play your nine. Second, leave your, your middle finger on the second fret, take your first finger, put on the second fret of the low string, and you're gonna play that. But halfway through, you're gonna pull this finger off and then bring your ring finger around on the fourth fret of the low string. Okay, so you're gonna go. Oops, sorry, I didn't have a very good hold on that. Now, if it was the last one, I wouldn't have played that last note, but then you just keep looping it, right? So, um, I'm kind of going to scoot forward here. It's kind of hard to... Okay, there we go. So, what's cool about it is you can play it at any speed. You can do it really slow. And it's kind of, you know, serious and ominous. You can do it really, really fast. So it's just a super, super easy riff to play, and it sounds awesome. Um, and it's super simple. Boom, 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 lift, boom. And then on this hand, you just got the little. That's all there is to it, man. Um, and the reason this works, if you wanna think about the theory here, because I didn't really think about it when I was playing it, but this would be a G major. This would be a G suspended. This would be a D5 with an A in the bass, a D5 with an A in the bass. This would be a G suspended inverted, and this would be a G major inverted. So it makes perfect sense that it would sound good together. It's totally <laughs> a, like a set of notes that sound good together, but it's super easy. So next time you pick up a three string guitar, I mean, you could do this, I'm doing it on the whole fiddle, but you could do this on a standard three string cigar box guitar or a, even a dulcimer if it was tuned like this. So, but this, anything that's tuned in the root five root doesn't even matter the key. Just play it. It's that easy. So anyway, I wanted to share that little tip with you guys. Have at it.